Half time at Vicarage Road on Good Friday, and it's Watford 1, Sheffield Wednesday 0. So far, so good. We've created enough chances to score, but we haven't taken them. But it is 1-0 at the break, and hopefully we can just get back into the swing of things with the international break over, we're back in action, and the championship action resumes right here. Let's go on the road to the path of victory, to the path of the Premier League. We know we can do it. We've got the squad. We've just got to keep on winning and keep on the momentum. But so far, it's been decent. We got the goal and it was another very good start to the game from Watford. But we want to push on. We want to show that little bit more, that extra inch in this game because we know that we can, you know, put a few past this Sheffield Wednesday team that, yeah, they put up a fight and they've got some decent technical players. But we know that defensively, they're still uh, much more, uh, you know, problematic uh, for themselves and we can cause them problems. Certainly, we've seen that in the first half. But... Uh, the first half review, we had that first chance uh, on four minutes and basically it was nearly an own goal, but basically it was a really good ball in from Saar and I've got to say, I'm so glad that Ismail Saar is back from his injury because not that we don't, you know, play as well, we have done really well without him, but he adds so much to our team, he's a brilliant player, record signing and he's so, so fast and Really, really good uh, when he gets the ball on that wide area because he just uses it well. Wonderful cross in. Um, Ismail Assar doing the bits again. And uh, the ball in is causing problems for the defender who has to slide and try and block it away um, after some good pressure from Isaac Success. Um, but the ball deflected, luckily, for um, the away side, Sheffield Wednesday, into the goalie's arms and uh, they're able to um, recycle the ball. Then Messina with a really dangerous ball um, across his own box. So we were getting a bit worried that we were going to play into Sheffield Wednesday's hands a bit there. But luckily, Sheffield Wednesday made nothing of it. Um, it was just one of those ones that um, he probably won't want to see again. But, you know, just a silly mistake, really. Um, and I think that we get our goal and it's deserved because we look quite sharp going into that uh, start of the game and it's a very nice team goal in the fact that we construct it well um, but it is going down as an own goal for the Sheffield Wednesday leader Tom Leaves and it's an unfortunate one um, but basically it's really good from Adam Messina lovely lovely crossfield ball stretches it out wide and it's perfect for his male Assar to just cushion it into his touch cushion it into his control and then put in a perfect cross one that defenders always have problems with. And I remember a similar kind of cross that he did earlier on in the season for Stipe Paricha's goal um, against Bournemouth uh, at Vicarage Road. It was kind of the defence splitting ball that you just can't deal with. And it's really into a good area. And sliding in is Tom Lees, who just has to get there to try and prevent it from getting to Isaac's success. Success, if he hadn't have um, got the touch on it, the defender, success would have put it in. But you know, he's putting the pressure on, he's making his presence known and uh, forcing uh, Tom Leeds to put the ball home. And there was a little bit of a discussion and confuse, confusion at first. The goal wasn't given because the linesman flagged that we were offside and it was not the right way to, to award the goal. But then on the replays, you see that there's nothing to complain about from a Sheffield Wednesday perspective because the defender is in front of Isaac's success and, you know, the defender can't, you know, get his feet sorted out and success is not intervening with play because he's not actually getting in front of the defender. So he actually does put it into his own net. And uh, yeah, it's just a perfect cross in really. From Ismail Assar, that kind of ball is always going to cause havoc and uh, lovely little assist there for Ismaila. Okay, moving on in terms of the game. Um, you know that obviously with an own goal, it sometimes is offside, but it, it's hard to be offside with an own goal, but only it would be a, a goal if it's um, unless the offside player actually got in the way of it and caused it. And as I said, that was not the case. So, um, and he, who even knows? Maybe success wasn't offside, but the point is, it, it's a goal and uh, it's fairly, um, you know, it's very much uh, legitimate. So, on his 100th Watford League appearance, Will Hughes 
is looking very tidy once again, um, doing the basics well and just looking a very solid player at the minute. But in terms of players that aren't looking solid for us in this first half, I'm afraid to say Francisco Sierrata has been so, so assured and confident in his clearing away in recent games. But today he looks like he's been a bit rattled and it's just because of the you know dangerous players they've got, Sheffield Wednesday. Jordan Rhodes is likely to cause him problems, skip past him, show that little bit of pace against him. And Sierrata has had to fly himself into challenges and that has seen him get a yellow card. Um, and there was a little bit of a nudge uh, on the forward Jordan Rhodes by Sierrata to try and see him off. And obviously it wasn't a penalty because it, it would have been a soft one, but he just had to be careful. He didn't overstep the mark there. Um, and then 11 minutes in, it was actually a good chance for the Owls. Um, fairly decent set piece. It comes out to one of the um, you know attackers in the box and they do well to knock it down with a really good aerial header. Um, and it falls on the volley to Pelu Pessi, um, the player from the Netherlands. And he, on the volley, slices it wide. A uh, bit of a shank, that one. So, yeah, not a good connection. Success, again, causing problems, but not quite the final product. 23 minutes in, he tries to have a shot. And it's good build-up play. A really nice ball into Isaac's success from Joao Pedro. Just, you know, knocks it in uh, with a little give and go and uh, he tried to flick it over the defender and then get the shot away success but really he didn't have the time to do that and he should have just shot first time um, too indecisive uh, and eventually Sheffield Wednesday cleared it away wonderful ball can I just say from Barry Bannon Barry Bannon is a championship you know a cult hero for this uh, Sheffield Wednesday side he's very experienced and he just put in a lovely diagonal ball just in behind the defence into Josh Windass on 25 minutes and we looked cut open, we looked in trouble just for a split second but Backman spread himself so so well to make up the ground and got the goal kick from it as well and um, with it deflecting off Windass so yeah that was uh, nervy but Backman well done son uh, and then the next chance in the game was a great opportunity for Sheffield Wednesday and I think it was lucky from our point of view that it fell to a defender because with a striker's instinct that could go in the back of the net um, it's from a set piece, I'm pretty sure. And on 30 minutes, it just falls uh, for the defender, Borna. Um, and it just is one of those ones you have to take quickly, comes at you quickly, bouncing, and uh, he, he volleys it over. Um, then 31 minutes, success, again, close, but just not quite catching it properly. And you can understand that, you know, he's been out of action for so long with injury. He's just still a little bit rusty, and we've just got to get him back to full fitness and back to full um, you know, flowing football and uh, good football. But, you know, he's trying and the shot was just wide um, after he kind of got it, luckily, from a deflection. Um, and you got to say, Sheffield Wednesday, they're having to foul us so much at the minute because we're just, you know, got the pace to, to burst past them and we're too quick for them to deal with. So it's good to see us causing them problems, but it's also good to see that Sheffield Wednesday, if they keep on this kind of disciplinary problems they could see us um well see us play against 10 men uh, if Sheffield Wednesday keep it up but how many times Watford do we give away needless free kicks uh, for the opposition it's just so, so silly and you know Sheffield Wednesday they've got some strong players in the box they could cause something um but at the minute Backman has not had too much saves to make other than that chance uh, that fell for for Windass and unfortunate to say of course that the goalie um sorry the referee no sorry the <laughs> get it right the manager of Sheffield Wednesday Darren Moore um very nice lad and uh, but he has unfortunately tested positive for the virus so hope he gets better you know we'd wish him well and uh, Sheffield Wednesday although we do want to beat you today it is you know with sympathy that you don't have your manager today so it'll be interesting to see uh you know if Sheffield Wednesday can get a goal in the second half I hope not but ultimately you know, they've not been playing badly without their manager so far. Um, Sia Rouser needs to be careful. On a yellow card, he needs to just be very, very alert and not make a silly foul because another yellow and he's off. So, yeah, it was uh, a bit nervy in that respect. 39 minutes and Zinkenagel, a wonderful opportunity, but he really should have gone for power rather than height because he had the free kick opportunity and he just 
kind of dinked it um, over the wall, but it just was one of those ones. Maybe favours the left footer instead to bend it around the wall rather than go above the wall because it's hard to bring it up and down from that close to the goal. Zink and Argel then, again, tries to take an extra touch and we just got to have some more players with a bit more confidence in themselves to take it first time. Um, I guess Zink and Argel has had a bit of time out with injury as well. So, um, yeah, Backman has not had much to do, but going forward, we should hopefully be a bit more clinical and take it quickly. But the last chance of that first half, Pedro really did so, so well to take the shot off from a tight angle on that left-hand side. And we went for it, but then unfortunately got no corner from it. So I'm not sure what that was about. Come on, you warns. Let's see this over the line for a sixth straight win and a sixth home win in a row, hopefully. You can see Sheffield Wednesday scoring, but I think we've got enough to hopefully see it out.